here. And this is a mother allowing her teenage son to sit up on the, the freezer section, you know, where the meats are kept or where the frozen food is kept. And this just really bothers Myron and doesn't <laughs> like it. And so sent, sent us this and we checked in with the grocery store to talk about it. And yeah, it turns out that the freezers are not built to hold people's weight so not very good but we also have Rebecca Black and she's from etiquettenow.com been with us before and just our mm -hmm. etiquette experts so first of all why shouldn't anyone sit on the freezer section well for one thing it's not a chair mm -hmm. and <laughs> <laughs> chairs are meant for sitting exactly. not freezers exactly okay exactly and I think that's the the biggest part of the problem mm -hmm. is that uh, when people are out in public they don't really realize that this is a shared space and it's not theirs mm. it's not your home uh, we should be more aware of our surroundings and, and uh, actually consider the fact that this isn't ours. Mm -hmm. We learned that when we we're small children, okay? You yeah. know, respect other people's property and somehow when as we go through life, we forget it. Okay. So talking that's talking about the freezers and mm -hmm. good advice. I mean, sit in it. If it's a chair, everything else, just don't do it. Exactly. All right. So talk to me about proper grocery store etiquette because, you know, you've seen it sometimes maybe parents bring their children and they are running amok in the grocery store, getting into everything. I know I've seen kids crawl into the actual glass freezer um, mm -hmm. That's just something that shouldn't happen just either. Just so wrong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> for, for one thing, uh, the glass freezers are glass for a reason, mm -hmm. so we can see what's inside without holding them open mm -hmm. to make our choices. When we hold the door open too long or a child crawls inside, mm -hmm. we're lowering the temperature and, and foods could spoil. But let's get back to grocery store etiquette, those aisles. Mm -hmm. You know, the aisle hog. Uh, we should be aware that uh, people are going to be traveling back and forth and we shouldn't be in their way. Mm -hmm. So let's uh, be aware where our cart is and make sure that uh, we're not in anybody's way when we are chatting with someone. Mm -hmm. We should be aware all the time that uh, there's people who would actually want to shop there and, and not socialize. So again, shared spaces and just shared keep, spaces. Keep that in mind. And the last thing I just wanted to chat with mm -hmm. you about. So say for example, if you do maybe see a child running around and you're trying to get a hold of their parent, what's the best way to approach a parent with that without maybe coming off as really rude? Uh, that's the tricky part mm -hmm. because we can't be etiquette police. Uh, uh. Sometimes even because that's who I am, mm -hmm. I would love to say, hey, parent you know this, yes please do but uh, it would be impolite mm -hmm. so the best thing for us to do is to try to teach by example okay and to not be that parent mm -hmm. <laughs> don't be that guy Rebecca thank you so much etiquettenow.com for more tips and of course this